LastPass is a great, free, or cheap to use password manager that stores encrypted passwords online. The standard version of LastPass comes with a web interface, but also includes plugins for various web browsers and apps for many smartphones. It also includes support for bookmarklets. Today I'm going to show you some basic LastPass features and how to use them. Okay, so we're going to go ahead to the LastPass website. Click on that and uh, we'll click on Get LastPass Free. It's either on the, uh, the center here or on the top right. Okay, so we need to fill in our details here to sign up for LastPass, our name, email address, password, uh, etc. cetera. Uh, once all this has been filled in and you click sign up, it's free, then they're gonna go ahead and send you a verification link you go ahead and click on that verification link and uh, then you'll be signed up. Okay, next we're going to direct your browser to google.com and type in LastPass extension, do a search for that. We're going to look for a link that says chrome.google.com. There's a lot of results here. Look for that one in particular and click on it. And then up where you see Remove from Chrome on my screen, you will see a button that says Add to Chrome. So click that and follow the prompts uh, until the extension is completely set up. And once it's set up, you'll see the uh, red icon in your browser toolbar with the three dots on it. Click that and uh, use the username and password you originally set up to log into the extension and you will be uh, set up with the extension. To show you how LastPass works, I'm going to sign up for a free stock photography website and save the password to LastPass. So I Google free stock photos here, and then I found the first result here, which is a website that I'm going to sign up for. So I click on that, and then I'll click on join here and enter my details. Um, I put in my name here, my last name, and my email address. So now for password, I'm going to go ahead and generate a secure password through LastPass uh, and click sign up here. So as you can see, it just went ahead and added that to our LastPass. We can click add and then we're all done. So if you click on the LastPass icon and then click on the forms fills, you will see there is a variety of options here and we're going to click on add form fill. Uh, here we can enter our details. I just want to put my name, uh, my title, enter my first, middle and last name again. Uh, going to come up with whatever username that I typically use, although um, we can have different usernames for different accounts. Um, Enter my other uh, my gender and my birthday here. Uh, for the purposes of this video, I'm going to go ahead and just enter a fake social security number so we can enter this properly. And uh, when we're all done here, normally you just click save on the bottom right. Uh, since this is a demo, I'm going to go ahead and just click cancel so I can discard that. Um, but this is how you're going to create uh, the form fill section. Often you'll want to share a password with your team. In order to do that, you just click on Open My Vault after clicking on the icon, and then click on Sharing Center, which you can see here on the, uh, the menu on the left. Um, so within Sharing Center, um, you're going to have a lot of different options. Uh, first of all, you're going to start off by uh, creating a new shared folder, which you can then share with a, a team or a small group there. We're going to call ours Test. And then if we go to the, uh, the options for that particular folder, you can see we have the ability to invite users to the group, set up their particular permissions, and choose which passwords they have access to. This concludes our presentation on the LastPass password management system.
If you have any questions, leave us a comment. We will do our best to get back to you. Thanks for watching.